Martinez from John Sporting Goods and this lesson today is how to tie a double hook setup. This setup is very useful for tying squid leaders or herring leaders and for this lesson we're going to need some leader material. You might want to vary the size anywhere from 15 to 30 pound test and you're going to need some hooks. For this lesson we're going to use four odd hooks but you might want to use something smaller or maybe even bigger. And the other thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors for cutting the leader material. I think if you follow my simple instructions, you'll find this a very simple lesson. Tying a double hook setup does not need to be intimidating. Follow this simple rule to start with. Put the line through the eye of the hook, but only put it through a couple inches. Grab the hook with the other hand and make six wraps. And then grab the line and grab the other end of the leader. Now remember, when you insert this through the eye, only put it through a couple of inches. Lay the leader alongside the shank of the hook and remember this rule because this is the rule that will make this the perfect tie every time. Always wrap with the line you started wrapping with. Pull that tight. Now putting an additional hook on is really quite simple. What we're going to do is we're going to take the hook and we're going to thread it down the line to where we want the hook to be on the leader. Now if you were going to tie this for herring it would be a couple inches apart. If you're going to tie it for a squid leader the hooks would be very close together. So we'll put it right about, right about there to start with. Hold on to the hook we're going to start exactly the same way we started the other hook. We're going to make about six wraps. Grab the leader and put it through the eye of the hook. Lay the leader along the shank of the hook and remember the rule that we used when we tied the other hook. You always wrap with the line you started wrapping with. Make another six wraps. Pull the leader out of the way of the other hook and we're going to pull the line tight. Now you can see this hook setup is tied just perfectly for either a herring or a squid setup. Now remember you can vary the distance between these two hooks by putting the hook where you want it. And then when you're done you can just snip this off right here. Now you can also regulate the length of the leader. Uh, a herring leader would be probably about six feet long, could be up to nine feet. A squid leader may be a little bit shorter. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I think this will help you tie a double hook setup.